everyone welcome back to ws cube in our today's session we will be discussing about nested loop let's first have a small recap on what we learned in our previous session in our previous session we covered the while and the while true loops while is a uh, while is a loop that executes in the condition is true while while true is a loop which is an infinite loop which never stops to stop it we need to use a special statement that is the break statement which we will be learning in our next session so here in today's session we will be learning about nested loops nested loop i think the term seems a bit familiar to you yeah in our module with conditional statement we learn nested conditional statement also if you want to become a successful data analyst and you want to learn from our industrial experts then you may call on the number given below or you can also click on the link given in our description not just that with our every batch you will be getting two demo classes for free so let's get started guys where there was a condition inside a condition so when there was a condition inside a condition that is called as nested conditional statement similarly in the nested loops when there is a loop inside a loop that is called as nested loop let's take a small example on this okay let's say a person is exercising and a person comes and tells them that you have to do a 10 uh, push ups okay so 10 push ups so a person will count to 10 that means a loop will be used over there that uh, from 1 to 10 he needs to do a push up so 1 to 10 is like one loop but what if a person comes and tell that you have to do three sets of 10 push ups so how it will go for uh, like first set 10 times again second set again 10 times again third set again 10 times so here two loops are working at the same time one is counting 1 to 10 three times one is counting the three times that okay 1 to 10 one time 1 to 10 two time 1 to 10 three time and one is counting 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 again 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 again 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 <laughs> so two loops are working over here at the same time that is our nested loop that is our example of nested loop that when there is a loop inside a loop that is called as nested loop now let's have a look how nested loop looks like for nested loop you can use any kind of loop a for loop can also be converted into nested loop and a while loop can also be converted into nested loop let's first take example of our for loop okay suppose i'm writing here for i in range 1 comma 6 that i'm taking a range up to five numbers starting value would be 1 and ending value would be 5 what i need to do is as we are talking about nested loop i'll create another loop inside it that for let's keep its name as j so for j in range this range will be starting from 1 and ending on let's say 10 so that's why i'll be writing uh, 11 over here i'll put a colon print j and for i i'm not going to print anything so print uh, i will basically count um, how many times this j will come so j is counting our 1 to 10 numbers and how many times this j is coming that will that i will be counting so let's have a let's run it and have a look on it so as you can see okay it's writing 1 to 10 5 times so, so let's say someone is doing a uh, five sets of 10 push ups 1 to 10 One time, one to ten, two time, one to ten, three times, one to ten, four, and one to ten, five times. So this is how a nested loop is written down. And if you want to write it in a row, there is a method that after j you can put a comma, write e n d that is the end is equals to open quotations, close quotations, and leave it. Now if I run and show it to you, this is how it looks like. So end is equals to open quotations, close quotations will shift your whole loop in one line. Whole J loop in one line. Okay, so basically you will notice over here that I here is counting our rows, while J here is counting our columns. So we have rows and columns over here. With the help of nested loop, guys, we can also solve pattern problems. Let's have a look at one of the pattern problem we have. So all I want is I want to create a right angle triangle with um asterisk symbol. So let's see how it can be done. So I'll be creating first of all my rows that for i in range, starting from one, ending on let's say ten. That I'm I need ten rows. So I'll be writing eleven over here. I'll put a colon and for j in range one comma. Now how I'm going to solve it? Because it is a right angle triangle. Every time a new column will be added. And in, in first time there will be one star. Second time there will be two stars. Then three. Then four. Then it keeps going on so on. 
right so every time one new row will be added so what i'll do i'll write i plus one for the ending one over here that every time a new row will be added and i'm going to print not j but here as i told you i'm going to create a right angle pattern with the help of a star that is this asterisk symbol so i'm gonna use a asterisk symbol inside the double quotations put a comma right and is equals to open quotations close quotations give a space in between and for print statement i'm just leaving it like that because i is just counting how many times j will occur it's not printing anything we are not going to print the i we i is only used over here to count how many times the j will occur so let's run the program and have a look what it creates okay so it has created a nice uh, pattern of asterisk symbol in a right angle triangle formation there are so many patterns that we can create with the help of the nested loop we can solve so many pattern problems with the help of the nested loop we will be having a look on some of them in our problem solving section and we will be solving problems related to them the nested loop is nothing but basically a loop inside a loop is nested loop in the, with in the nested loop you can use for loop you can use while loop as well for using while loop with a nested loop do watch our problem solving section where i will be solving a problem which includes a while loop and in the form of a nested loop so stay connected and i'll see you in the next session thank you